Welcome to Brayon Math, where as to solve this problem, we have a square and a rectangle that overlap each other. And the length of the rectangle is uh, 6 units and the uh, uh, height uh, before the, I mean below the overlap uh, is uh, 3 units. And we are required to find the area of the blue region. Okay, so for our first method is we consider the square uh, EF. E F G D and we subtract this uh, I mean we deduct these two triangles this triangle uh, E A D and this triangle uh, A F H okay okay so notice that the this triangle uh, G C D uh, the ratio of their uh, legs so if you try to draw a vertical line from the hypotenuse in this uh, horizontal line. So for the representation of their uh, uh, ratio, so uh, both lengths are divisible by 3. So for this uh, shorter leg, we divide it by 3 and this becomes a 1. And uh, this, and this uh, 6, we divide it by 3, so this becomes 2. So the ratio is 2 is to 1. And since uh, you, if you see this angle here, this uh, can be alpha, and this can be beta. The com this should be the complement. So we let us call this beta. And since uh, this is from a square, so this angle here should be also in alpha. And if you consider this a uh, AED triangle. So this is actually a right triangle, and that this angle here is actually uh, the complement of alpha, which is a uh, beta. And since this is a uh, 90 here, so 90. So if you consider the segment uh, EF, uh, which is a straight line, so 180 minus 90 is uh, 90. Then minus this beta at angle A. So this should be a complementary angle alpha. And since this is a right triangle AFH. Okay, so this uh, angle here should be a uh, beta. The complement because it is a right triangle. Okay. Okay, so uh, next is we uh, simply notice that the this triangle uh, GCD okay, is actually uh, similar to these other two triangles AFH and uh, AED. Okay, so I forgot to mention that this of course should be the complement of alpha which is beta because this is a from a rectangle, a nine, uh, right triangle. Okay, so knowing that these three triangles being similar. So the ratio of the legs of these uh, uh, three triangles are actually 2 is to 1. So since they are actually similar, the ratio of the legs should be 2 is to 1. As uh, we have here on the triangle G, C, D. Okay. Okay, so if we label this uh, side of the square E, F, G, D as... Uh, we can label this as a x okay so in there uh, in there uh, the legs is uh, in the ratio of 2 is to 1 okay and since these uh, three triangles are actually similar then if this is x the side of the square then this shorter leg is should be divided by 2 so this will be uh, x over 2. So this will be uh, x over 2. Okay. So if this is x over 2, then since the whole length of the square is x, so we just need to subtract x. I mean x over 2 from x. So this will be uh, x over 2 af. So EF is the whole, and uh, we know that 
e a e is uh, x over 2 so to make it uh, x so we just need to make this uh, x over 2 okay and for the shorter leg since the shorter leg fh so this fh uh, since uh, this uh, longer leg is twice this uh, shorter leg so this will be a uh, x over uh, 4 or one half of an uh, x over 2 times one half or simply x over 4 okay so as we have said earlier so we just need to get the area of the square okay and subtract the two area of the two triangles uh, aed and afh so area of the shaded is equal to area of uh, efgd efgd minus the area of the first triangle and that is a uh, area of a e d minus the area of uh, a f h okay so area of the shaded is equal to e f g d is the square so the side is x so area is x square minus this uh, a e d and that is a right triangle so one half times the base times the height so we can choose any as the base or the height so x over 2 times x minus uh, this uh, AFH so this is actually one half times uh, x over 2 times uh, x over 4 okay so we can simplify ASH is equal to x square minus uh, x square over 4 minus x square over 16 so area shaded we can actually uh, factor out this uh, x square and we are left inside with uh, 1 minus 1 4 minus 1 over 16 okay and next is uh, we get the lcd so lcd is uh, 16 so 16 divided by 1 is 16 times 1 so 16 minus this uh, 16 divided by 4 is 4 times 1 that is 4 and 16 divided by 16 that is 1 times 1 that will be 1 okay so 16 minus 5 is 11 so that whole thing on the numerator becomes 11 so x square so x square times 11 over 16 that is the area of the shaded region okay okay so by continuing this uh, area s the shaded is equal to x square times 11 over 16 so since uh, s x square is the square of the or it is the area total area of this uh, square and also this is the square of the hypotenuse of this uh, right triangle uh, gcd gcd so x square is simply a uh, six square plus uh, three square times uh, 11 over uh, 16 and is equal to this becomes a nine a 36 i mean 36 square is 36 and this is 9 so 45 total so 45 times 11 over 16 so area of the shaded region if we simplify this we have 495 over 16 square units for our first method Okay, so for our second method is uh, we are going to subdivide this uh, shaded region into two parts. So we draw a line from uh, this uh, H, point H to point uh, D. And uh, we notice that uh, these two regions are actually a, a right triangle. So because this is actually a 90 degree angle at A. 
from the rectangle and from this square, this is a 90 degree angle. And therefore, these are actually two, uh, two right triangles. Okay, so we can label the side uh, of this square EFGD as uh, S. So this is S. And this is also S. And uh, we notice that the triangle GCD has a ratio of 2 is to 1. Okay, so as it was earlier in our uh, first method. Okay, so this is uh, 2 is to 1. 2 is to 1. And with that, this uh, triangle here is similar to this as we have uh, earlier uh, mentioned in our first method because of the angle. So this will be S over 2. So this uh, length AD is a simply uh, that will be a AD is equal to a S uh, over 2 squared plus uh, S squared square root of this. Okay. So S over 4, S square over 4 plus a square, square root of this. So that is AD. So this becomes a 5 over 4. So we get the LCD first, 4. So a square over 4 plus, that this should, ah, okay. So that is a, a square over 4 plus 4 divided by 1 is 4. So times uh, 1, so we have 4s square. Okay, so simplifying, we have here AD is equal to S, 5s square over a 4. So take the square root of this. So we have uh, AD is equal to so the 5 remains inside, so we have s over uh, 2 square root of 5. So this becomes uh, s uh, over 2 square root of 5. Okay, so next is we get this uh, af. So af is simply a uh, gd minus uh, ae. So AF is simply a GD which is S minus this uh, AE which is S over 2. So AF is equal to uh, 2 divided by 1 is 2 times uh, S. So this will be a 2S minus uh, 1. I mean S, 2 divided by 2 is 1 times S. So S, so AF is uh, S over 2. So this becomes uh, S over 2. And uh, since uh, this triangle AFH is similar with the GCD, the legs are 2 is to 1. So we just simply need to divide this uh, uh, this uh, by 2. So this becomes uh, S over 4. So S over 4. And to get this hypotenuse, we just simply multiply this by a uh, square root of 5. So this becomes a uh, S over 4 square root of 5 because in this uh, if you have the ratio of uh, 1 is to 2 okay 1 is to 2 then x so x is the square root of uh, 2 square plus 1 
So, x is equal to the square root of 5. So, so this is square root of 5 and uh, 1 and 2. As you can notice, this is the also the comparison between the shorter leg of EAD. If you focus on EAD, okay, so shorter leg, you just multiply this by square root of 5 to get the hypotenuse, which is a S over 2 square root of 5 as we got earlier. Okay, so uh, next is we get this uh, length HG. So this length HG is simply uh, the difference between uh, the length ED and uh, FH. So HG is uh, equal to S minus this FH S over 4. So this is one fourth. So one minus one fourth is three fourths. So three over fourths is so that is HG. So this is a three over four times S. Okay. So next step is that we need since we already got the legs of these uh, two right triangles from uh, the shaded region. Uh, we just use the two legs, the base and the height, and we simply add those areas. So we have an uh, area of the shaded is equal to one half times uh, this uh, AH. So S over 4 times uh, S over 2. I mean, you should have the square root of 5. So S. Uh, square root of 5 times uh, s over 2 square root of 5. And you need to add the other right triangle. So that is 1 half times uh, 3 over 4 s times uh, s. Okay. So simplifying this, this square root of 5 times square root of 5 becomes 5. And this becomes, uh, the denominator becomes a 16. So 5s uh, over uh, 16 squared. So plus, this is uh, 8 on the denominator. So 8 and 3 on the numerator. So 3 over 8 times uh, s squared. Okay, so that is the area of the shaded region. and Simplifying further, since the LCD is uh, 16, so 16 divided by 16 is uh, 1 times 5, so 5 S square plus uh, 16 divided by 8 is 2 times 3, that will be 6 S square. So simplifying, we have uh, 11 S square, 11 S square over uh, 16 and uh, notice that uh, this uh, s square is uh, simply again the square of the side of this uh, square which is also the square of the hypotenuse of the gcd so area sh is equal to 11 over 16 times uh, to get the square of the hypotenuse that will be 6 square plus uh, 3 square. So this becomes uh, four, 36 plus 9. So 45 times 11. So area SH is equal to 45 times 11. So this is 45. So that will be 495 over uh, 16 square units. And that is our answer. For the second method. So, thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you'll be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.